Cutfish is a simple graphical file searching tool for the desktop for FreeBSD and FreeBSD derived operating systems such as GhostBSD. Some of the features for Catfish is that it can search inside files, PDF, compressed files, etc. You can refine search based on location, file type and modification time. You can search hidden files and it has a simple and lightweight interface. And this review really won't touch on everything it can do. It's just going to give you a brief overview. Right, this is on my Open Motif MWM uh, desktop, so it's going to look a bit funky for those who are not used to it. It looks like the way it does because of the theming that I have on my desktop. I will show you a comparison between this and, say, installed on GhostBSD at the end of the video. So it has a, a fairly clean and basic uh, layout, which is pretty cool. And there are not many options available for you to change. I'll just zoom in so we can see what we're doing. Uh, if you click on the three stack bars at the top right hand side there, the little burger menu, I think that's what they call it. You can show hidden files, which will become useful later. Search file contents. Match results exactly if, if you don't want it to be... Uh, to pick up everything in your search term. Uh, you've got preferences, and that just really gives you, uh, you can change your tile bar. It doesn't really, doesn't work on mine, it stays the same. You can show hidden files again, show uh, filter side by, and all, all these kind of things. It's fairly basic. Uh, if you click on the advanced tab, you can actually put in which directories you want to exclude from searching, which can be quite useful. And you can add them and take them away there. And close the search window after opening a file and search within a compressed file. So there's really not much you can tweak, but there's, there's the basics there. And you can change the view for thumbnails or the normal compact list. We'll have a look at the thumbnails later. And this is a quick about. It's fairly up to date. The last one being released in 2022. And it's from, by the looks of it, Blue Sabre from the xfce.org. Feels like an xfce app. Right, let's have a look then. If I type in, oh, I don't know, uh, xinitrc, I know it's a hidden file, it's a dot file, so it won't, uh, it won't show up unless we actually tell it to. And it's searching, but not coming up with anything. And like I say, it's a dot file, and you have to specify whether or not you want to show hidden files. So if we just go over and stop that searching. If we go over to uh, show hidden files, there it is. So if you do search for something and it doesn't turn up, Try tweaking some of these little search things. It might actually pop up. So that's uh, that's all right. That works quite well. And now we have a look for Amiga. Now, I've got a lot of Amiga files on this computer. I'm very much an Amiga fan. So we'll, we'll just search for Amiga. Generic term, just Amiga. And, of course, it's uh, picking everything up from all the different directories and all the different uh, links and etc. on the system. So that's pretty good. I'm just going to organize that so we can see a bit better. And there you've got your date on the side there. And there's quite a lot. And it just goes on and on and on. And it will keep on searching for ages until we, uh, we tell it to stop. So, and like I say, you can filter your search terms or what you're searching for by selecting these on the left-hand side. So if you just want to look for music, of course there's no Amiga music, not yet anyway. Videos, there's one video it's found. And uh, applications, we'll pick up all the various uh, other stuff. And you can sort by time and date, so you can put your custom one, or date this week, a month, or any time. Like if you've saved some in the last few days, it'll pick it up. And we'll have a look at the thumbnails. If there are any thumbnails available, it should show them, but uh, it's not something which I would use. Although, you know, if you're a visual type of person, then, you know, it might be better for you. And it's picking up a lot of JPEGs, but not necessarily thumbnails. So maybe it should be run within XFCE, I don't know. And you can click on a file to open it up. So I've just clicked on, I've just double clicked on this JPEG and now it pops up. And you can right click and open it the old fashioned way if you want to do that. And you can save and delete, etc. So be very careful, hey, uh, don't let your fingers slip. So we'll just have another look at that, yeah. And it say, tells you information about it. If it was a photograph, it would give you the exposure and the aperture information and all that lovely stuff. So that's pretty good. I like that. So that's what it looks like on my desktop using MWM. Now, this is my Ghost PSD desktop, and it looks slightly different, but it has the same functionality, of course. I've created a test file that we can search for, and there it is. And it's got the same functions as we've already looked at. 
uh, we'll just go to the various uh, configuration files, and you can obviously filter them as we could before. It just looks different. The, looks better. Well, point of view, I suppose it does. The theming in GhostBSD gives a more clear result, I suppose. And it's an excellent tool for GhostBSD, actually, because GhostBSD is very much a desktop-orientated operating system, and this fits right in. And to install it in GhostBSD, which I should, perhaps I should have shown at the beginning, it's not just a PKG install or compile for ports. You go down to the software station, and type in your password, and let it refresh. There we go. I do like this about Ghost because it's got a really nice uh, package manager. And you type in uh, catfish. Of course, you don't have to complete it to the end. It will pick it up before that, but that's pretty cool. Select that, apply, and it will install it. Told you there are some dependencies. It's not that many to some Python stuff. And yeah, we'll just let it go. All done. Brilliant. Let's close that out. And it should be up in the menu under accessories. Oh, and there it is, look. There's Catfish at the top entry. So, very nice indeed. There are those who will uh, say it doesn't replace command line search. Of course it doesn't. No, it's, uh, it's really not for command line uh, warriors, I suppose. And, I mean, I use the command line to search as well. But say, for instance, you're a desktop user and you don't want to use the command line that much, or you don't feel confident in it, then this is a good alternative. Anyway, it's a fun little program, and I just thought I'd share it with you. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.